Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new Retro Tech. I'm hanging out here waiting for a phone call, but while I'm waiting, I want to show you a little bit more of the new studio area. Now, in the last video where I kind of updated on the vlog status, I was showing some of the back areas I had been setting up where we'll be doing a lot of the technical work. So I wanted to show that off a little bit more. And so if you follow me through this door right here, we'll get into that area and we'll check it out real quick. Now, one of the new features I wanted to highlight today is my setup here I've got for my rig to film a lot of the action that we'll be doing here on the solder table and desoldering area where I'll be removing components, making board repairs, talking about maybe some other diagnostics that you would do. Uh, this will help us out and it's kind of an interesting little homemade setup I did with a specific tripod where the tripod's actually set up completely upside down and stabilized against the subfloor and then I've got it hooked up here. So that's a little bit on it. I'll show you a special view where you can get an idea of how that will look as I have it set up over the table here and I'm filming some of the work, you'll be able to see kind of an idea of what that looks like. It, hopefully that view uh, will help us out a little bit more. It'll make filming a little bit better and we can get a better shot of certain things that uh, were kind of difficult to do in the last shop. And then, so that's really one of the more exciting things I've got going on here. Obviously I've still got a lot of work to do here in the uh, bunker, I guess. So that was a nice comment from one of the viewers last week on that last video. So I'd like to call it the bunker for right now, the CRT repair bunker. And what I've got for you today though, is a repair video that was shot at the old studio. It's one of the very last repairs I did about three weeks ago on a Sony PVM 2030. And this is a monitor I've covered a lot, but this is not a repair I've ever done before as far as showing a before and after on something that was quite important and um, kind of just a vertical scrolling or fold over issue on the geometry. So please hang out, enjoy this last video and look for more to come just from the new studio. And as things start get going here in the next month, we'll have some more content fresh from the, the area here and the shop and other areas around the whole Retro Tech Studios. All right, so let's just jump into the repair video. Well, hey everybody, today we are starting in the back of a CRT this time. This is a Sony PVM 2030 that's being serviced here at the shop. And I wanted to go through it and show you pretty much the ugly to start with. This right here is our deflection board and it is the main board that controls a lot of the issues that happen on the screen. Now this video monitor had a bad issue of vertical fold over and it was almost like the vertical blanking problem you'll see in the 50 series and the M series CRTs and uh, I'll show you an example of what that looked like here on screen and this is mainly caused by the bad caps especially in the defle vertical deflection area of this board so let's get a little closer in on the board itself you can see this one is one of the one of my favorites to service if it's in good shape the problem with this one it was in terrible shape it was extremely dirty and there was a lot of calcium and rust built up in here that had to be cleaned off and ultimately it caused a lot of issues where a couple of traces were rubbed off definitely had to be recapped it was extremely dirty inside and it had to be cleaned but this is what it looks like afterwards and this had to be done or we would have not gotten rid of the vertical fold over and we would not have been able to get a good geometry picture on here and I just wanted to make kind of a short video this time and show you what the inside of this looks like if you want more information on recapping this particular PVM I do have an entire series and on that and then how to adjust it i have a couple of videos on that i will link to those below but this is just if you have the issue again i'll show it on the screen if you have a vertical fold over or something like that it's generally going to be caused by the capacitors in here this one is from 1993 i know it says it on here somewhere here we go april of 1993 and that is pretty old for capacitors at this point and so you'll want to make sure you get in there and change those and that way you can get a good picture and then I'll, that'll also give you an opportunity to make your screen just look as good as possible and the monitor lasts as much 
or as long as it can. But again, just look at some of these pads that I like to show you guys everything. So this is, I mean, this is, can be expected sometimes uh, when you get in here and work and some of these older damaged things. Now again, I got everything cleaned off with ice, isopropyl alcohol and gently rubbing with ESD brushes. But uh, that's the back of the flyback right there. But anyway, that's just what this thing looks like. Before I end this video, let's jump around, put the shell on, and take some shots of the screen now that it's working good so you can compare that to what it looked like before. All right, the sun's gone down. I'm having an opportunity now to look at the screen a little bit closer. I'm going to just show you the simple composite video signal on here. I'm using a PC Engine's Core Graphics console. We've got our type on here. And the screen has been fully adjusted again, but it, this is a really good composite video signal that comes out of these um, PC Engine consoles. And so I just wanted to kind of show that off a little bit on the screen here, because this also has a very nice uh, composite picture uh, for a lot of the things that um, it will do. It, it'll do composite pretty well. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. The rest of the shell looks really good compared to what we started with. Unfortunately, he is missing his Sony badge, but that's all right. Otherwise, the monitor will function fine. Let's just see, you can see a lot of the, you know, effects there from the composite video, but still looks pretty good for composite. All right, guys. If you want more information to the 2030, I'll definitely have links listed below in the description for today's video. Let me know what you think. If you have any comments or questions or anything, leave them below in the comment section. And I'll see everybody next time with some more retro content.